Today's Inktober theme is our O, which is, suggests bloopers. And I think the perfect ink to demonstrate O would have to be Troublemaker inks. I love the name, Troublemaker. They're absolutely beautiful inks. I love every one I've tried. And the Troublemaker aspect is that they are a shading ink. So they will look different on different papers. They'll look different depending on how light or heavy you apply them. And it's just perfect for this theme. I'm going to demonstrate some bloopers for you and uh, how to fix them. Now, this is ideal for a beginner, this tutorial. I showed you at the start, uh, if you go back and have a look, I was using a device uh, that you... Um, Beam the image from your mobile phone onto the paper. They're inexpensive. Uh, they're little apps that you can buy for your mobile phone. You can buy very expensive projectors. Um, artists who do murals will spend a thousand dollars or more on a um, big projector to project an image onto a wall. But uh, if you're just trying to project an image onto a tiny bit of paper, these are just A5 size bits of paper, then the Da Vinci mode um, is one of the devices you can get. I'm sure there's other brands. I don't get any royalty from um, suggesting things that I use. And uh, if you're in a hurry, it's very handy to have a device that will project an image, but you still need to draw. And that is the other blooper because that device is just not good enough to do really crisp lines. You still need that ability to draw. The blooper is at the end of this. Um, my drawing of the moon and the cat is just not good enough, and I need to go in and use my own eye and develop it more. The other bloopers, of course, is the unpredictable of the ink. Now, the ink that I'm using at the moment is the... Um, it looks like the Petrichor, which, according to the bottle, is a mauve colour, but it's not coming out mauve, is it? It's coming out more of a teal green. Now I'm coming in with kelp tea. Now again, the image on the bottle suggests a brown, but I'm getting lovely green tones. It will vary depending on the thickness that you're using it, whether you have it water added to the mixture, whether it's going on to different types of paper. This is Fabriota watercolour paper. So there's an enormous amount of variability with these inks, the Troublemaker inks. I absolutely love them for that. Now another uh oh if you like, is I decide that I'm going to put a bit of a tint into the moon and I'm adding the Lun Lunetta Twilight Pink which is a lovely colour, but I only wanted the barest hint, and I came in, oops, too strong. <laughs> Tried to blot it out. There's my uh-oh for the moon. And then, of course, in trying to wash it out, I uh, overwashed into the black of my cat and had a bleed, my second uh-oh. <laughs> Oh dear. Fortunately, there are ways of fixing these things. Um, I'm using vintage fountain pens. I love my vintage fountain pens and uh, different nibs on them. You'll get different effects. I've got a little side piece here where I'm working the inks also onto a fountain pen friendly paper. And you can notice the, see the, the Lunetta pink, it's a different shade, a different tint on the that paper. It's not the same as on the watercolour paper. It's more of a coral look. So the colours will change depending on the paper that you're applying it to. So that's part of the fun of working with ink, these breaking colours of inks. It's less predictable than working with watercolour. Now I'm coming in. I've changed from my Troublemaker ink now, and I'm using Nor Abyssinal, and that's a Jacques Herbin ink. And I've tried not to go right to the edge because I want to catch light from the moon on the edge of the dark twig. 
I'm using a rigger brush for this. That means it's a, a long, long hair brush. Now my another uh oh coming up there. <laughs> I've gone into the wet paper. I thought the paper was dry and it wasn't. <laughs> so my cat has bled out <laughs> into the moon. It will be fixed before the end. So um, a good one for showing bloopers. And uh, this is also a um, normally a novice artist's mistake trying to rush the job i'm trying to rush the job to get this out for canada day and for this particular theme day for inktober <laughs> rushing is never a good idea when you're trying to do artwork even stylized artwork um like this we've got a halloween coming up and i was trying to choose a halloween theme so at the moment my moon and my cat are a total mess but um it's a lovely way to learn about these beautiful troublemaker inks i find these inks behave beautifully in fountain pens i highly recommend them the troublemaker inks now how do i fix these uh oh bloopers well first of all i go in with the opaque watercolor gouache i'm using a titanium white the moon doesn't have a crisp hard edge you only see a crisp hard edge around the moon in amateur or very stylized paintings so if you look at the moon it's shimmering there's you just can't focus on the edge of it so i need to create a haze and i can do that with this opaque gouache by drifting it in a milky solution around the edge and softening that edge and it's something i need to take my time with do gradually not something that i can put together in a couple of minutes to show you in a quick demonstration but the idea will be to create a soft haze all around that moon edge to make it shimmer i'm going to take my time with the black ink and repaint that cat much more cleanly and crisply so there are a couple of things that i'll do off camera where i might take a lot of time to get it absolutely right because with any artwork there's going to be a main focal point that's the bit that needs to be in focus the rest can be out of focus the rest of it can be roughly painted, stylized, impressionistic. You just need to choose what is going to be a major focal point. For me, it's going to be the cat and the moon. Take your time, slow down, no speed painting for that. And that's how you fix those things. That's where drawing skill comes in. That comes from practice. Now, here again, a blooper, you get a little spot on the paper where you shouldn't have it turn it into something here i'm suggesting wild grasses in the foreground i'm not trying to remove that dot of opaque wash that i dripped onto the paper i will create more and make it work for myself so anytime something goes wrong look at it before you try to remove it or fix it see if you can make it work for the paper now these are the close-ups of the ink as they've dried see the lovely effects of this beautiful troublemaker ink it's unpredictable it's it's variable and my finished work and it's ideal for stylized decorative work i hope you enjoyed this give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe it does help me